I'm gonna get a little closer. Hi, ladybug. Just because that, that's a good thing because they eat the what? Aphids. Aphids. This is the garden. Uh, we have spinach, kale, basil, thyme, and catnip and mint. Okay, so these are my, our spinach, but I've never planted spinach before. I definitely think this one is bolting. And I'm pretty sure this one is bolted too. I mean, it's still. What does bolted mean? Uh, it means they start to flower and focus on reproducing instead of growing more foliage. Um, I mean, it's still growing spinach, so I've just kind of left it, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm not an expert. I should clarify that too. So we have three spinach plants, which are all sort of doing that strange thing. Um, this is the catnip, it's just really small. And I tried to use reusable containers, so I put this in an old tofu container. It's going really good, actually. This, this, it's doing well. Okay. I have, we have three basil. They're doing all right. I mean, they're not growing very fast. I don't know if it's because they need warmer weather. We've had a lot of cooler weather recently. But the kale's doing really well in the cooler weather. It's a little ladybug. Um, we planted some, I should mention, we did plant green onions um, that we just, you know... First put into water and then Jessica repotted into a pot, I yes. guess. Yes, and they're doing well, so that's good. We already clipped some and had some the other day, so yeah. Yeah. Another one's getting pretty big, so we can chip that, or clip that one soon. This is the mint. Peppermint. Which we had the starter from, if you saw that video, um, which I can link down below um, of our grocery haul, and we picked up a little starter at Grocery Outlet. But it's huge now. Really obviously. big. And that, that, we picked that up two, three weeks ago. Yeah. So, it, you know, in three weeks, it's already grown about this much, so. And like Jessica's good. made tea with it, and like with mixed it with ginger, fresh ginger. Yeah. You and then I had some from some this morning on my waffles. You just pick off the leaves and it, it kind of likes the pruning so you can grow more leaves. So peppermint, it's really easy to grow. And the rest of this is kale. We have all the thyme in little pots down here. That's going pretty good. It didn't, it wasn't getting a lot of light in its early life so it's definitely grew sideways first and then up but now it seems to be doing good and it's starting to smell like thyme. Which is, is that a good sign? I would think so. I've never grown thyme before. And this is a, re, I reused a, probably a yogurt cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is a reused yogurt cup. Um, and yeah, the rest of this is kale, and I think it's all one variety except this one. It's like the oddball. And I've been having... Yeah, it's like darker than the rest, and it's like yeah. kind of like more purple on the um, the stem is this, more purple. Yeah. yeah, and it's darker, thicker leaves. So this looks like dinosaur kale more so. Not dinosaur. Um, I don't know. I don't really know that much about Do you remember what kale variety this was that we picked up? Okay. I want to say Lacinato, mm, but mm. honestly I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I do have the seed packet, so maybe we'll update you mm -hmm. at the end of the video with the type of seed it was. But I'm getting problems with bugs eating the leaves. So if anybody has any like really natural tips on how to, we heard some uh, vinegar water, salt water with your mom, right? Your mom yes, said that. But I'm just not sure, like yeah, because I see you know the um, the moth worms, the caterpillar worms, mm -hmm. the little green mm -hmm. things. I know they're eating it, but I also think there's these little flies that also may be eating the leaves. So I've just been like every day I'll come out here and like check the bottom of the leaf for worms and bugs. And, I look over every single leaf to pick off of the bugs because we haven't found a like organic alternative that we're comfortable with that we want to put on our food and then in our mouths. So, yeah. But we did have a uh, each kale plant had a leaf from in our soup the other night. Yeah. And it was really good. Yeah, it was good. I just pulled basically one out of each plant. They're getting pretty big. I mean, the stalks seem healthy. 
So besides the bugs, they seem to be going, doing pretty good. And, um... What was the other thing I was going to say? I don't know. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to say something else. Oh! When I'm doing the bugs, because I think it's important to talk to your plants, and I think it's a good chance to practice like positive self-talk, so I'll, you know, I'll do my, like, looking for bugs and stuff, and then I'll, like, hold it up and, like, tell it that I love it, and, you know, I'm proud of it or something, you know, just some, like, messages like that, um, and then, you know, I'll move them over as I go through each plant, and then kind of put them back, so... That's my process again. I'm not an I'm not an expert. I don't. This is our second garden. I think the first year we did jalapeno, tomato, tomato. They're just little babies. Mm -hmm. So not a good harvest, but we did get some veggies. Yeah, excited about the kale and the leafy greens. And then we also have. Francine, which is our hanging plant. Oh well, Francine number two because um, the original Francine got fried in the sun when after like three weeks of having her. So we tried, or well, Jessica tried to put plant a uh, seed card in there. So we don't know if this is actually from that or if they're <laughs> they're weeds. So if anybody can help us identify, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, so Francine number two. Hopefully not weeds. Hopefully an actual flowering plant. We don't know. Right. Yeah, but at least it's growing. This is Jessica's terrarium. So the part of the tour garden or garden tour. Um, we just got our terrariums back recently because we had brought them in right before all of quarantine started and. We're just needing them to be spruced up a little bit. Uh, Jessica's had a lot of dead plants, so obviously you see a lot of living plants now, so they definitely added new plants and probably took out most of the old ones, if not all of them. But um, yeah, it's thriving right now. And then here's mine, um, which is very much thriving. This is the moss, and then there's you know, several different plants that have grown pretty tall. Um, they definitely trimmed this one down because that used to be to the roof. And um, it's much shorter, but probably to give it space to grow some more and be. Hey, Bubber. Hey, what's up, Hobbs? What's up? Aww. <laughs> Aww. Hey, Bubber. So, yeah, that's mine. Um, so also doing healthy and Hobbs is rubbing his little cute face on it oh big baby